Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, if, if I quickly play here, um, as you can see, if I jump, nothing happens to the gun, so it's like not really realistic. And you can also tell, I mean, we're jumping two blocks up. That's a bit much. I mean, nobody in real life, well, there's probably somebody somewhere, can jump that high. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's change that quick. Uh, I forgot what to change. Oh my god. It's in one of these. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Um, jumping, base height, extra height. Let's change that to 0 0.5. And base height, 0.5. Okay, now let's take a look. We just halved everything, so hopefully it's halved and jumping. Yep, yep. Okay, now let's change it to 0 0.6, just so that we know that you can clear a crate. Okay, 0.6. Now let's just take a look. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, that's better. Ah! <sighs> So moving on, uh, we're going to go ahead and create the animations first, like always. And to do that, we need to create the game object, create empty, once again, move it into the main camera, zero it out, zero, zero, zero. And then we just literally plot the animations into that game object. Let's rename this jumping atoms. There we go, jumping atoms. And uh, yeah, okay, so on this jumping atoms, you want to open the window and the uh, animation window. So let's just move it down a bit. And now that we have our jumping atoms, we want to, um, well, this is going to be jumping, so we want it to go <coughs> down and then up, like jumping. Like this is, th this is the lift off. So create a new clip. Jumping lift off. Uh, let me show uh, that animation. Mm, save. Okay, so let's start recording. Let's click on the transform, create a keyframe, so now we're at zero, which is practically where it starts. Let's go to about five. Five. And let's just make it go down a little bit, like not too much. I'll go for 0 0.01. 0 0.01. So if we play, it should just go down a little bit. And now we want to go to 1. And we practically just move, move it up. So it's like. Okay, but what, what did we say? 0.7. Now let's change that to like 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, but straight after here, I'll set about 10. You want to zero it out. There we go seems seems fair to me so let's uh, stop recording once again of course your animations will probably be better because your game is going to be a full game this is just a tutorial so this is just for like example sake uh, so now we want to jumping land jumping land animation jumping land animation that looks weird. Okay, save. And let's start recording. Hit record. Okay, now on the first keyframe, what was it? Y? Is it Y? It is Y. I'm going to change that to 0 0.05 because that's where the other one like started. And you practically just want to change. Wait, if we go back down here, we want to change that to 0 and let's say minus 0.01. Okay, so it like land. And then you want to just set it back to zero. Sorry about the background noise, that's the dishwasher. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. Okay, so it's like that. That's a bit too far. Let's just space it out a little bit more. Seems fair to me. Okay, so now we're going to do the actual coding. Uh, let's go to our script. And we're going to go ahead to, where's our, uh, wait, where's player animation sec? Actually, we may as well just have to, but no, I want them to be together. So here, we're going to go ahead and create a variable. And let's call this jumping animation sec it's a game 
object. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's change that little J to the capital J. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, now we want to go down to our play anons function. Create a couple of spaces. Now we want to create an if statement. And now with this, wait, where is it? No, it's character controller. This one, the player boss controller. Let's copy that. Add in there. Now let's quickly create a boolean variable. Let's uh, what should we call this? Jumped. Jumped. And that's obviously a boolean. Boolean. And for now, we're not going to set it. We'll set it later. Uh, actually, no, nah, we'll set it later. Okay, so copy that jumped. Go back down here. If jumped and and. Okay, so now with this, we have our player bus controller dot. And this is, is grounded. Practically saying that he is grounded which isn't what we want, we want is not grounded, so let's quickly put an exclamation mark in front of him. Then why I'm calling a coder him, because it's... Yeah, anyway. And then let's create our curly braces, we then want jumped... Ah, crap. Jumped to equal false. False. Is it false? I'm pretty sure it's false. You'll find out. And then we also want our uh, jumping animation sec. Oh, yeah, yeah. to the animation the, this time we're going to use play because it's it's not going to be cross fading from anything because this is a totally new game object so it's not already playing an idle or something that I can cross animation reference to so we're just going to use play and let's go ahead and brackets and what did we call it what did we call it <laughs> I can't remember what we call it let's quickly find out animations Jumping lift off animation. Okay, let's place that there. Jumping lift off animation. And Kelly brace that off. Now I'll just copy this whole if statement thing. Let's paste it there. Make that space. Change this to true. An exclamation mark in front of the jumped. And get rid of this exclamation mark. Kind of save that. And with this jumping animation set play, you want to get the other one, which was jumping land animation. And just replace that. Let's save. Okay, so uh, let's. Um, if jump equals true, we set it to false, which then means that if we land and it's false, then we set it back to true, ready for us to jump again. Okay, so. All in all, this should work. No errors, no errors. Sweet, it's always a good sign. And I haven't set the variable. <laughs> uh, okay, so where is. We put it in camera, don't we? No, we don't. We put in animations. And it's right there. Bingo. Okay, so now hopefully. If we jump, it should play the jumping animation, and if we land, it obviously plays that landing. Bingo! Except there seems to be a little glitch. It goes up a bit too much. Let's go back to our jumping anims and open up our animation. Okay, this ends at 0 0.05. Let's change that to 0 0.04. Uh, stop recording. Let's go back to jumping land animation, hit record, and we want it to start at 0 0.04. Okay, so where does this one come off? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, stop recording, let's hit play and check her out. Okay, let's just... Alright, I think it's because if we open back up animation, record, this is either too far along, so if we move that a little bit closer, 
change it to 0 0.03. Let's record it. And if we go to jumping land, change that to 0 0.03. Oh, okay, it's already got it. No, it hasn't. Okay, that's glitchy. 0.03. Stop recording. Take a look. That is so much better. Nice, smooth jumping animation. Except what happens if we sprint and jump? Okay, we're going to make... Gosh. Well, I'm going to make it so that you can't sprint while you're jumping. You guys don't really have to. Uh, so, I'm going to copy this. Copy. Go up to the sprint. Paste. And if player is grounded. Okay, so let's go ahead to play. We also kind of want to do that for the walk down for sprinting. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, it, it stops the sprint. But now for the walking animation, we want to do on that as well. So let's copy. Where's the walking? It's that one, isn't it? No, that's aiming. Um, this is walking. Number one is walking, right? Must be. Else, if. Get rid of the and put the bracket back in. Let's save, let's check it out. Okay, so walk in, jump. Still plays the animation. Okay, wait, I got an idea. Let's get rid of that else if. Let's just leave it as one. And we'll place it down here. And play your bus is grounded. Okay, let's save. Okay, but first, if we aim in, it plays the jump. Okay, that's good. That's good. I can't even tell whether it stops or not because we're like hiding in the air. Oh, we up. Nice little jump animation. Um, so jumping in the air. Okay, yeah, it does stop. It's good. Okay, if I jump, it stops. All right. So that is the jumping animation. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, why is Elena sprint and jump? Wait, what? Okay. I think Unity's just been slow in its calculation. Let's just go back to the top here. Alright, I think I know why. It makes it so that you can't sprint while you're jumping. But it doesn't stop it from sprinting if you're jumping. So let's go back down to the sprint, which is this one. Paste that in. Now let's take a look. Hit play. Move back a bit. Still does it. But we can't sprint while we're in the air. Huh. Well, it's good enough for me. I don't care, you can sprint. Uh, Call of Duty lets you do it anyway. So let's go ahead, save project, save scene. And yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. Tomorrow, I'm going to. Well, I might. I'll either do shooting, or if we look around, you can see the gun stays with the camera. It's kind of dull and kind of boring. I'll make it so that the gun, it like, like in my other tutorials, you move and then the gun moves. It just makes it look a lot nicer. Uh, but yeah, we have our jumping sword today. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for subscribing if you have. <laughs>